In part one, chapter four of A Clockwork Orange, Alex wakes feeling fashed and bashed. He decides to skip school and listens to his parents head to work, his mother sighing over his truancy. Alex dozes, dreaming that Georgie is a general who orders Dim to flog Alex because Alex's clothes are filthy. The sound of the doorbell wakes him, and he hears his post-corrective advisor, P.R. Deltoid, yelling at him to get up. Deltoid tries to trap Alex into admitting to violence and warns him that his next infraction will land him in jail and cost Deltoid a confession of failure. After Deltoid leaves, Alex brews tea and wonders why no one studies the cause of goodness. Badness, he thinks, is a matter of the state and other institutions rejecting the individual's free and God-given nature. He admits that he acts violently not in opposition to these big machines, but simply because he enjoys violence. Alex eats breakfast and reads an article on modern youth, which blames juvenile violence on a lack of punishment. Other articles blame violence on the devil ferreting his way into teens, or on the effect of living under threat of war. Listening to classical music as he dresses, Alex recalls an article that suggested that modern youth should become more civilized by developing a lively appreciation of the arts. Yet Alex finds that classical music sharpens him for violence. He heads to the music store to buy a new recording of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, while two 10-year-old girls giggle and flirt. An idea of anguish and ecstasy hits Alex. He invites the girls to bring their pop albums to his room and listen to them on a good stereo. He decides they need education, with him as their teacher. He makes the girls drinks, and soon all three of them are naked and jumping on the bed. The girls enjoy playing at sex, but then Alex rapes them, and they scream that he's a hateful animal. They leave, bruised and shocked, as Alex lies satisfied and naked on the bed, listening to Ode to Joy. Alex enjoys badness and is practiced at ignoring his victim's pain. He either fails to grasp that his choice to be evil causes pain or willfully ignores that reality.